Hi, and welcome to this special question and answer video on lavender. I love this plant. Now I've searched Google to find the most popular questions about this fascinating plant. But before I begin, it would be great. Please, can you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And of course, you can also subscribe to my channel for loads of great content. I'd also like to know any questions you have about lavender. So please add them to the comments section below and I'll do a follow-up video covering those questions. Right, let's answer those Google questions. First up, why is there white foam on lavender? Well, we've all seen it, whether it's plants in our own gardens or, or, or parks that we visit or friends' gardens. Well, it's not lavender oil or anything like that. Uh, it is, in fact, produced by the juvenile frog hopper, which is spittle bugs, and it protects their larva from predators and stops them drying out in the heat. Now, the larva produces foam so it can feed safely on the plant as it transforms into its adult form. And of course, the next obvious question, is the foam from the spittle bug harmful? Well, the good news is it isn't harmful and you can just leave it there. And it shows a really good biodiversity in the garden. Another question here, how long does it take to grow lavender? Look at this big one growing up here. Well, you can buy them in flower. There's many different types of lavender, but you can buy them in a pot like this. How much did I pay for that? 9.99 and it's already in flower but if you buy young ones it'll take two to three months after planting before it produces its own flower or of course you could buy bigger ones even bigger than this for more of an instant effect now there are some softer grown varieties that live for about five years but the main bulk hardy types they can last up to 15 years and if you're unsure which is which just ask at the garden center another very popular question is, is, is when do you actually prune lavender? You know, the best time to do it is mid-August when all these beautiful flowers are, are sort of like starting to die off. You remove any of the old stalks like this and then just give it a light trim for approximately two and a half centimetres. And this one's really overgrown itself. I quite like this open flowing uh, effect. But once it's had a heavy rainfall, as you can see, it starts to weigh, weigh down the foliage. So trimming it keeps a, keeps a tighter bush. A very popular question is what should you plant with lavender? Effectively, that's campania planting, when you've got some plants that look particularly well with another. Well, rosemary has a similar maintenance requirement, and so does sage. Now, you think about it, they're, they're Mediterranean plants. Here's a little sage plant here. Oh, the fragrance is great. Well, the fragrance is great with lavender, the fragrance is great with rosemary. Because they come from the Mediterranean area, they can tolerate it being a bit drier. So it loves sandier soils and it won't need irrigation. Uh, another good companion planting is alliums because they not only repel pests, but they're also drought resistant. Now, you can even grow them underneath so the alliums can grow through the foliage of the lavender to get some early blooms. And of course, as they die down, the flowers of the lavender will grow through. Of course, you can also plant sedum. Now, they're same low fertility alkaline soils, but prefer dry climates. They're pretty good. And olives, of course, the traditional Mediterranean plant, that's pretty good. And of course, the lavender is really great because they attract the bees. In fact, there's a little look, there's a little offset of the lavender. That must have been a seed that's fallen out um, that's just growing at the front of this one. They're incredibly good when they're in the garden. You get a lot of bang for your buck with lavender. Popular question is what causes lavender to droop? Well, overwatering is one of the big ones. The plant needs, you know, pretty well-drained soil. You can let it dry out properly in between watering as well because it doesn't like to sit in water and become waterlogged. Small containers need root space for them to grow as well and you can plant in containers at least two to three times the size of the root ball. So if you've got something this size, you're looking for a container like that. The bigger, really, the better. Here's a very interesting one. How big does lavender grow? Well, you've got a selection. You can choose smaller or taller ones. The short English lavender grows 30 to 40 centimetres. Lavendula augustifolia little lottie. Now, mid English lavender, 45 to 50 centimetres. And a great variety of that would be Lavendula hidcut. Tall English lavender 
can grow 75 centimetres up to a metre, and that's Lavendula Intermedia Sussex. So there's quite a lot to choose from. Popular question is, is when should you water lavender? Well, newly planted uh, uh, plants you put in lavender, or any plant actually, does need some water just to give it a helping hand at the beginning before it sends out roots and, and get established. Now, if you're growing your lavender in a container, you're a custodian of that, that, that uh, soil ball, uh, more regular watering is needed. Um, the secret is, is they're more tolerant than others because they're Mediterranean plants to dry, um, but just check out, make sure that they don't dry out too much. Big, big popular question is when do lavender bloom? Well, the flowers typically start from late June, early July, right the way through to September. And you can even get some later flowers after that, depending on how mild the season has been. Another big question, is lavender good for you? Well, research shows that it can improve sleep quality. A lot of people in aromatherapy use lavender. It's a hugely popular plant because the research suggests that it helps reduce anxiety and stress. It also says it helps with acne. It inhibits the growth of bacterial strain that causes it. And you can get lots of different liquid remedies of lavender off the, uh, off the shelves. Here's an interesting question. Can you use the flowers of lavender for anything? Well, of course you can. Some people bake with it. Some people use it in cakes. Some people make lavender ice cream. Personally, I really like a nice cheeky lavender Collins, a gin, where I boil up a mug of the flowers uh, in water and then just let it rest. As soon as it comes to the boil, let it rest and soak as the water cools down, strain out the lavender. You get this lovely purple liquid, which you render down Mix it in with some sugar water, squeeze of lemon, a double gin, some ice and some tonic water for really refreshing summer drink. And I'm going to do a separate video on how you can produce your own lavender gin and tonic. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I have a free monthly newsletter that you can subscribe to. See the link in the description below to sign up. Another big question in Google is can lavender be a house plant? Well, all outside plants start to deteriorate inside. I mean, you could have it as a short term house plant on a windowsill and then as it starts to stretch and grow because it's so warm inside, then put it outside afterwards. But it's not really a house plant. The best thing to do is to choose varieties that you can plant outside. But you could, of course, take clippings and bring them inside as well. Not only is beautiful cut flower, but also the fragrance as well. Now, here's an interesting question. Which is more fragrant, English lavender or French lavender? And there are different types. You also get Dutch lavender as well. But here's uh, a French one. As you can see, they're sort of like tighter in buds with these flecks of almost, they almost look like leaves, I suppose, at the end of the florets. And this one here is lavender Hidcut, more of an English one. And Hidcut is named after a garden only just down the road from here. And I've got another variety coming through here. Now, let's just do the smell test. All right. Mm, very perfumey, very subtle. You just lightly bruise the flowers. Oh, that, oh, that is a, <laughs> that's a big kick. Oh, it's working as well. I'm feeling a reduction in anxiety and stress. It's a lovely fragrance, lavender. Yeah, so I would definitely say the English, but you know, don't take my word for it. Go into the garden centre, see them in flower, and don't just buy by sight. Use your nose as well. Lightly bruise the outside of the flower and smell, and it really releases that heady perfume. Another question focusing on fragrance, which is the singularly highest fragrant lavender? Well, it is in fact Lavendin, which is a hybrid cross between Lavendula augustifolia and Lavendula latifolia. And it's commercially grown this way. All these big fields you see in Norfolk and out and about because it has a very high yield of oil as well. Is lavender good for when you're pregnant? Well, it's often used as an essential oil, which is safe when pregnant. And the scent of lavender is thought to help with anxiety, depression, stress, insomnia, and mental alertness. So they all could benefit somebody who's pregnant. They could benefit us all, actually. 
Well, that's a good selection of Google questions for this video, but just look at this plant. I can't stop smelling it. The fragrance is hypnotic and you can grow it in borders like here. You can grow it in containers. You can grow it as hedging. You can dot it in your herbaceous borders as well for a country cottage look, or you could create something that feels a little Mediterranean. Lavender does an awful lot. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video insightful. Lavender is a tremendous plant to grow and I would recommend you have one in your own garden. Please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channels for more great content like this. And remember to switch on your notifications to be notified of my latest videos and there's loads of great ones to come.